Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. Nope, it's Rogue Trader. My name is Iken, and today we're the continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty known as Unfair. And uh, we have gotten all of our little compatriots at this point. Uh, I think it is time. We found Pascal the last time. All is wrong because we uh, did not have um, Heinrichs and Cassia so far. We're still trying to flee from this craft world, really. But with good old Pascal, we're able to pass all of the tech checks. So let's do this real quick before we go into the... Uh, I think it was called Opera. Opera of Flesh. Something along the lines. Whenever the wearer performs an, an area attack, <coughs> they instantly provoke attacks of opportunity from all adjacent enemies. Hmm. That's an interesting set of boots. The starts of every combat, the wearer's allies gain deflection equal to the wearer's psi rating. Whenever an ally suffers any damage, uh, and loses non-temporary wounds, uh, this effect is removed from that ally. But that's a very... Uh, those, the loot here is extremely good. Much better than what we um, used to have before. Embrace true power. This might be something else for Heinrichs. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Got a nice Drukhari weapon here. Incubus Clave. Then the Warrior's Dead Eye sh uh, shot critically hits <coughs> and triggers exposed weakness against the affected enemy until the end of combat. Okay. The Warrior's Media Attacks is increased. Ah, oh, that one is not bad either. I can see Heinrichs having a field day here. The world trembles beneath my feet. Lots of stuff for psi melee characters. Operation. Successful. Powers unseen uncover my path. Wow. Intriguing. My success is an irrefutable certainty. Wow, look Let's at that. I mean, the opportunity. we are getting flooded with loot. Uh, if we ever got uh, off of this vessel, we are going to be rich. The world will bow. It's an interesting decision to <clears throat> make the entire Act 3, or I assume what is going to be the entirety of Act 3 here, onto this vessel with essentially almost Embrace zero equipment and then power. getting better and better. The rising currents carry the smell of pain, blood, ichor, and failed ambition. The smells of the dark city with the wings <clears throat> flung open. I weave a pass through the spires like a dark lightning bolt, chaotic and unpredictable. This day I am the hunter. My hemiculus modified olfactory receptors pick up the scent of prey and I tread cautiously as I approach it. The stench of the monkey is foul and varied, but the scent of the prey is quite telling. A powerful specimen brush uh, and reeking of the blood of others. I. Descend to the um, minaret that grows out of the nearest spire and provides me with an excellent view. Get a better look at the prey. A male monkey, a pampered upper uh, cast cup whose fat and equipped with the best of their race can offer. It certainly arrived in the uh, dark city recently. <coughs> the city, which has not yet managed to leave a mark of perpetual expectation of doom on its flattered snout uh, the most glorious game which clings on the life of the strongest and leaves the sweetest death essence the reflexes urges 
the muscles to act. We act. Uh, the shard cabin spews uh, forth a stream of crystalline projectiles that howls and shatters as they pierce the flesh of the prey. The deadly sn uh, slashing blizzard drapes the streets <coughs> in blood snow. Um, the bodies of random passengers are caught by the fire, failing, uh, uh, failing to the ground. This is a common occurrence in the spires. Everyone around me flees from the field of death whose borders I have made clear. The prey falls, but is still alive. I did not expect the hunt to end with a first salvo. The prey is badly injured. I can easily finish it, uh, finish, uh, finish it off in the open. Uh, the prey summons companions to aid. A mistake. Unleash a fan of crystalline shards and the flesh of the prey blossoms with new cuts of the projectiles. Anyone who tries to approach will be killed in a brittle sharp now the prey should have run and not giving me more chances to cripple it prey is uh, trying to locate me and then breaks into a run clever by escaping from the open streets the prey has deprived me of the advantage of my long-ranged weapon but i will not escape so i spread my wings and soar over to the alley pelting the prey with bursts of indirect fire this chase must uh, not end too soon. The petitioner wants the prey to die slowly. Um, the prey grabs someone's weapon from the ground and returns fire at random. The air is filled with gunfire. As soon as the prey fires the first shots, everybody is starting to shoot. I duck out of the line of fire gracefully. The hunt continues. Prey turns bystanders against me. It only takes the prey a couple of furious shouts uh, to convince those huddles in the ally. Lies. Uh, I am only pursuing the prey. The few surviving uh, the explosion that I put um, uh, find themselves in ground of terror. The fear of the prey is planted in the weaker than the fear that I evoke. The conclusion is drawing closer. Oh wow. Um, lunges at me first. I realize it too late. I'm blind. Uh, in the blind of the alley, my prey is about to die. There is enough room to spread my wings and soar. It does not grant me the opportunity to do so. It kicks me back into the cramped street. The prey wishes to fight where it has advantage. With my wings foiled, I ratchet up the jet booster and rush past the prey like an um, like a projectile. I'm airborne again. I'm flying, and the fight will be on my terms. Powerful blows crush uh, to the hollow bones, drilled by crafty Hermuculus. Uh, their lightness served me well during the flight, but have betrayed me here on the ground. I lose my footing. My body has gone floppy like a wreck. My strength is, w uh, strength is waning. I reach uh, for the short cabin and shoot uh, the prey right in the face at point blank. The crystalline project whizzes within the hair's breadth of the face. The crushing blow turns my magnificent weapon to rumble with a mournful crunch. I'm dying at the feet of the prey. <coughs> no, not at the feet of the monkey. A humiliating end uh, for one who earned the status of apex hunter of the Komarak through the torture and alterations of my flesh and bloody pilgrimage uh, to the very top of the spires. Does it hurt to perish like that? It does. Is it fair? It is. The chaotic burst of violence that bloodied the streets of Komarak ends just as abruptly uh, such as the life in the spires. Hmm. So that was the angel that we were fighting, uh, that we were seeing a couple of times. It's interesting uh, that they resolve that as a story, uh, as a storyline. I wonder what would have happened if we continued to fail all of the checks.
Good. Off we go to the anatomical opera. <clears throat> I tread a path unexplored. Good. I'm pretty sure Terinthius is happy of what has happened. Can we get over there? No. But there is loot over there. So how do we get over there? And there is loot over here. Let's seize the opportunity. Hmm. Anyways, let's talk to him. Terancius rushes about uh, the laboratory, snatching certain tools, vials, and notes. He conceals some of these items inside his own body cavities and destroys the rest. I've done what you wanted. This is not what I desired, not to this extent. The cult of the fatal thirst craves blood, uh, for blood specimen. Your blood, my blood. One must be astonishingly insensitive to the vibrations of the dark city to not realize that. Dracon Aiziriaresh, uh, after you went against the Archon of the Reaving Tempest, you decided to violate the wishes of the Archon of the Black Heart as well. You were thrown into the arena to die. You show uh, wretches of incompetence by defying your masters. Your presence offends. Uh, my presence offends you, I see. Good. You have made yourself quite comfortable here in the Chasm where you keep the things uh, that you dare to bring to the spire of the reaving tempest it must be vexing having to abandon it all as you flee from the cult's wrath one of tavarian's limbs twitches and strains blind, uh, blindly only f uh, for merak's reflexes to save him from a fatal neck wound but the Hermaculus makes no further attempt to attack. It seems to care more about the substance and instruments than the insufferable Cabalite. All right, why do the witches desire my death? You humiliate in them, uh, Monke. Uh, Kier Kiros and I agreed that she should send fresh meat against you, but she decided to undermine my authority by sending <coughs> out her best. You slaughtered them. So it was the cult's authority that suffered. But who cares about the pathetic monkey? You are my lackey, and thus I trust you with a, you are responsible for undermining the cult's authority. And it wasn't enough uh, for you to just kill them. You entriced one of the bloodstained um, proselytes to join your monkey side as entire chasm watched. A slap in the face for the cult wasn't enough for you. You decided to spit in their face as well. Oh, but there is more, says Marasai. I hope Kekaros and Synthoria are now writing in horror about the mere thoughts that the headless subordinates have lost uh, to the Kabbalite who was sentenced to death by Nazrakai himself. First, they have decided to play that uh, charity by making me a proselyte, and now they slip. Um, uh, they let me slip through their fingers. Oh, I wish I could see the succubus's face when she was given the news. So, what's the plan? I will leave the anatomical opera and withdraw to the spire of the raving tempest. The witches won't dare to settle their score under the eye of my patrons, so the cabal's valuable servant is safe from their ire. As for you, go out to the streets um, of the chasm and die, or go to the arena and try to kill Kekaros. Even if you succeed, you will still die. I should have stopped wasting time on the idios uh, idiocy long ago. All my pathetic simpletons um, did was weaken my focus and distracted me from my masterpiece. At least I can now devote all of myself from it. Marazai into the spire of the raving tempest to hide under the wing of Iremiris. An archon fallen into disgrace. What an imprudent choice. You should run away from her and her troubles unless you are somehow connected to her crime. You are not in a position to know about the Archon's plans before, much less now. And so unravel the rotten threats of tapestry of faith, says Iliad. Elantach, here is the true nature of the Dark Ones, a lie hidden behind sweet promises, having learned from a cruel mistake 
I foresaw this outcome. I shall end Kekoros. Enter the arena. The Sukubai will not pass a chance to gut you in front of the audience. You could simply um, wound Kekoros. A wound Kekoros. It would give us both enough time to escape. <coughs> For that, I would be willing to sacrifice my deadliest and most valuable specimen of my collection. We managed to kill her. Sinothria um, will not let such impertinence go unpunished. <coughs> and her rest is hundredfold more dangerous than Kekoros' fury. Do not return to the chasm. Uh, you will find no shelter there. Seek salvation in other spires. I would like to speak about a member of my retinue who was delivered to you. Uh, Levigator Cassia, the female with exceptionally strong connection to the veil. I'm studying the influence. She no longer screams inside the reservoir. She can, she's uh, still alive. And I'm not yet ready to conclude the experiment. Looking for Heinrichs. Monk a male with a consistent connection to the veil. Beautiful endurance of pain. His stubbornness produced high grades of essence. Wait until he is expended and you may have uh, whatever is left. Since you are intending on fleeing, release my companions. I cannot transport them to my new sanctuary. You may take them. Some may be alive. But do not allow to use their abilities until I have left the anatomical opera. Hmm. Intriguing. Cassia, hey, good to see you. I, shall I? I feel, at least I feel something. Oh, well, so many of you at once. Red, black, violet, scarlet, dark, yellow, dark maroon. Away from you, stop swarming my thoughts. It's like, and I cannot control it. Uh, may the Emperor's radiance illuminate the way through the turbious gloom as we have bro um, broken of hearts turn into his wisdom. A haze of anger, despair and fear smothers like a burial shroud, but this is not the first time you have had to deal with a surge of foreign emotions. You wish you would have died here. No, you wish you had never been born in the first place. You summon <coughs> your will and put these thoughts away as you th um, thought fending off a sword thrust and Cassia's feeling dissipate before they can uh, latch onto you. With visible effort, Cassia claps her hands to a gesture of prayer. I believe in his might, his aid, his wisdom. Her pale brow f um, furrows and revelates uh, for blood run from her nose and her eyes. Undeterred, uh, she focuses on bringing her powers under control. Her body jolts as if electrocuted. You know, when the darkness envelops you, it takes everything, leaving no sound, no smell, no footing. Darkness devours every color that tries to make its way. But when despair had overtaken me completely, I cannot sense I was alone in the darkness. Someone else was with me, someone intangible, cold, colorless, and the realization ravaged my sanity even more. When the capsule opened, my mind was drowned and glimpsy with shades of crimson and umber and black, and I'm going mad. Psyche, and I used to think I could control this, but now you must end this for the sake of the house, for your own safety. The Emperor protects. Thank you. Your words have um, helped. Feel uh, better already. Uh, thank you for pulling me out of this, Lord Captain. I beg for forgiveness for what happened. Oh, no problemo. 
Mm. Elliot, I like you, but uh, Cassia better. But Cassia better. Alright, Heinrichs. It's Iken, can you hear me? To the warp with you, beast. That's not a trick. Pull yourself together, I need your help. Saiken, is it really you? Where are you? Are you close by? In the name of the throne. Find a way to get me out. Cut the tubes and set free Heinrichs from his bond. He almost fells out of the Duke Curry device. I can't see a thing. Give me a moment. To has the same what they have be done. Blasted. I can sense my body. Um... You can't sense your body? What does that mean? I knew I wouldn't be pondering the question right now. The circuit on my head wasn't inhibiting my ability, it was turning them inwards. Binding them inside of my body, they made me torture myself with warp energy as I was burning and mutilating my internal organs. Oh boy. What happened after when you were captured? They moved me into m uh, multiple times from one place to another. I saw bowels of Drukari ship. One might consider my words heretical, but I saw, I say it were only due to the uh, Hermoculus who brought me here, that I survived the failing of the struggle. From there, I, w <coughs> I was just this place, this coffin, and this pain. Can you walk? I can move, yes. Warp, take them. I feel like my nerves have been turned inside out and sued back, uh, just like that. For the time being, I will have to suffer the pain whenever I take a step until I recuperate. Now that I'm free to use my powers again, it's entirely achievable. Heinrichs rubs his face and looks upon you, somewhat unfocused as he manages to focus. Uh, then he freezes, having met Mother Rai's gaze. Calm yourself. He's under our uh, under our protection. He's an ally. The skies will sooner fall than I can <coughs> have this filth as my ally. You may extend your protection to any other nation that will inevitably disavow you alive, but who not dare to instruct me on my stance of the enemies of humanity? And there we go. Heinrichs. Uh, Marazai, sorry, you good, but Heinrichs much better. Much better. And with that, we have uh, the people back that we originally had. Let me level up uh, the two newcomers and give them equipment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back the and we got well everybody equipped. Fantastic. Tank to the front line. Ulfar is uh, second in command and that will be our new main formation. I'm already looking forward uh, to it. So how about something along the lines of this? That sounds like a the great combination. Beneath my feet. Uh, we still got a couple of wounds to heal, so... There is a further in Let's my do that. Soul. I'll remember this. So I can get rid of his wounds and Argenta so gets rid of hers. Administration is a holy task. Powers of Fabulous. Uncover my path. And did we mess anything up? All right. Couple more goods.
and it seems we need to go through the arena again. Activating the switches here does what exactly? I tread a path unexplored. Oh, that allows us to get more loot. All right, got you. So, what do we have here? Um, Prism-shaped Xeno artifact is cold to the touch. I see. Okay. Where against ten ag agility and fellowship. Whenever the wearer's wound should be decreased to zero for the first time, they are restored to fifty percent of. Oh, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Um, if the wearer has eight or more AP at the start of their turn. Oh, nice. That's a good one. And we got increased ranged attack distance. Okay, that's maybe something for earlier. I'm just wondering, is any of uh, that helpful for us right now? Um... I like that, Agility and Fellowship. The question is, who would have anything less good than that? Hmm, maybe our tank should actually take that. Good, with that we have even more agility and fellowship. Uh, the fellowship for him isn't that important, but the agility is. And the ability to not immediately die is fantastic. I don't know how we're getting to 8 AP yet, but I will find out a way. And then that will be fantastic because it's a 30% flat damage above. The world will bow. And we found even more goods. Fantastic. When the warrior dodges an attack, they become priority target for the attacker's next turn. That is not bad. For a single uh, shot. That's good as well. Can only be used once per combat. And at the start of combat, the warrior inflicts five bleeding on themselves. Whenever the warrior performs an area melee attack, they inflict bleed on all creatures they hit. Area damage also deals additional... Ah, oh, it's not bad either. I like it. I like it. Cool. Need little items. Uh, this act certainly has absolutely fantastic items. So that you can further customize your builds. But in terms of uh, builds, this here is going to be our main group, so I want to see just how well they are doing. And we're going to have that second uh, group with all of the other characters in. And I want to um, specifically try out a few other builds and a bit of a different playstyle. And then we're just going to see which one we like better. You've insulted the cult of the fatal thirst outsider. Struggles are in vain. Are you challenging me, Phil? Prepare to die. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Well, we are definitely not in a numerical advantage here. <clears throat> Heinrichs uh, stays uh, here. Wolfar uh, stays there. You know, by thinking about it, maybe Ulfar should... Uh, and Heinrich stays here, then Cassia can somewhat litless kill all of these guys. Pascal... Agenda Saiken... Uh, Pascal over here, and we're Gucci. Let's start the battle. <laughs> I 
I need no <clears throat> guidance. All right, Ulfar. Don't dishonor the wolf with such tasks. Uh, let's just start with blasting uh, these guys open. See how the Okay, fantastic. That's a good first start. Immediately killed someone. Wolf our you're the man. We haven't even started the actual fight. All of these guys uh, come together over here, which is a good start. Okay, all enemies suffer 21% more damage. Well, it seems like a good idea. We're increasing momentum right away, because why not? Um, and let's just hit everybody here with a nice little debuff. Oh, that already cost him like 50 hit points. Uh, Cassia begins to move up here because she has a couple of items uh, that trigger uh, when uh, when she is near others. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Good. Um, let's start. <coughs> we do have with Pascal the Comet Locus stratagem, uh, which will 4x the damage that is happening here. Um, And that's where a lot of damage is coming from. <laughs> Good. The other stratagems are gone, and that is fine. Everybody here gets uh, the machine communion so that their burst attacks are hitting better. And everybody gets joint analysis and Pascal is doing very well. Look at that. Finest hour. Might as well do a bit of this here. And Olafar gets a bit more of that. And then all of you guys come together here. I'm afraid not. Me? I have a fur painted black. In the name of House Orcelio, I All right, Ulfer, my my boy. That's what we've been waiting for, right? He's on the hunt. Give me the damage. 400 points of damage. Wow. Single target hits. Burst fire. <laughs> Oh, he's a space marine man, and he's he's a man, man. Where are the enemies? Oh, right there. Excuse me. Haven't seen you over there with all of that gore. All right, the prime team works, man. He unlocks the door that will lead the one to the uh, happenstance will free your chance I'll be uh, to me the boots will seed your part comes next to break bronze and flee 
To you, the merchant vagabond, I bring the gift of providence, but will you look? Your color xenos are fractured and wrong as if they are refracturing through a distorted prism. What should be familiar is dispersed and the bedazzling shades won't stop twisting madly. So many things can the eyes gleam at once. Charel's, uh, Charel's veil path and caverns the soul, but with a thousand sights, you should not see the wrecks of fate beneath reality. Past crackling walls will twirl you round in halls of intertwining serib uh, serendipity. Okay, I do not understand either. I'm listening. Both opening and warning is my boon. Your fate hangs by a thread, dawn breaking tide. But with uh, a show of pa uh, patience opportune, the merchant's certain death will turn the fight. What does the sign mean? Poor show, the spice of life is mystery. To bland a spread would spour your appetite. The sign of mine, fear not, you'll clearly see. If you wish to help me, um, wait for a sign, run into some kind of mouth. What? Oh, uh, we have forgotten that one of our companions actually wanted to deliver the deadly blow. Well, too bad. I think I cannot change companions at the moment. This is a big, f massive gun. All right, rest is here is the cargo. Uh, can we, with our group, formation, no. Hmm, I think I cannot. I cannot get our group uh, in. That is very unfortunate, can I? Switch to the other characters? No, unfortunately not. No. Intriguing. Hmm. Well, let's hope that that doesn't fail his personal quest. I tread a path unexplored. RPG logic, by the way, uh, we um, won in the arena fight and we got ambushed by a couple of uh, these strange minions, but okay, whatever. Master Tervanthius sent me. The master wishes you to send uh, Karakross on a swift journey to She Who Twists. Do not expect a fair fight. This is your execution, however, Karakos is incapable of adequately assessing whatever she fails to comprehend and therefore the standard chance, albeit a little one. Should you survive, do not return here. The witches will seek revenge, um, which is why the masters already have left the chasms and found a new patron. He suggests to do the same, so says the master. Alright, arena time. Thirsters, do you want to witness a great legend as the uh, ancient as the comrade itself? I give you now, behold to the tale of uh, Sir Lyle, the exile, the succubus dethroned. Sir Lyle was the mighty warrior in her cult, renowned and deadly. Her dance of the battle was um, enticing perfection and terror, but then as time came, her Audacious apprentice uh, supplated Serial, turned uh, her servants against her, and drove her out of the dark city. 
She wanders the webways, savage wilds, and slew scores of their terrible horrors as she fought for her life. The legend, she slew them all and pressed onwards, but the story will be shorter. Kill. Okay. Uh, that's a Beastmaster. Interesting. Well, we're going to go to here. Olfar is standing right there. Saiken here. Argenta there. Cassia here. Pascal there. And we Gucci. Starting the battle. Oh, can't hit, can't hit Heinrich slightly too far away. Well, in that case, Ulfar, it's your turn. See how the wolf succeeds. So it shall be. Mm, unfortunate, just a single shot. I've read tomes of military tactics. Cassia moves up, debuffs all of them. Argenta. To being ordered around. Increasing momentum just because we can. Me, right, hit all of them with a little bit of damage. That's a good start. As the Emperor commands, I act. All right, not a good chance to hit, but but um, let's do this and still fire them. I think. The chances are artificially lowered. We should have an okay chance to hit them. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Pasco. Pasco moves to here. Kill zone there. My vow is to serve. As a tactical moving into our own um into our own stratagem. Request approved. And let's hit all three of these guys. Running by Buffing ourselves with Machine uh, Spirit Communion. The knows all, all right. There you go. Naturally. We're buffing ourselves. 
I won't object. Continuing to buff ourselves. But of course, Lord Captain. Get me a target. For the throne's glory. Good, all of them are taunted. Should only focus on him. Um Argenta begins to move up. As the Emperor commands, I act. The devastating attack did exactly what it was supposed to do. I'll do it. Knocking them off their feet, and we almost killed one of the beasts. Um, yeah, let's just wait for a second. <clears throat> Vengeance will be swift. No, no. How could I click? All right, that was a mistake. Still not used to the double clicking. I just ended his turn, which was an absolute idiocy. Our foes reek of cowardice. Push that thing backwards. Fantastic hits, by the way. Um, and we're done over here. This time I won't do the same mistake. If I may. You take that. If and a bit more of that. Serves, and Orfar gets a lot of shots for free. Good, very good. Even the monsters of the obscure sectors of the webway feared her and fled out of her sight. Uh, okay, let's see. That's a Shishlar. Or Shishtar. So you by yourself want to fight? Okay. If you think that that's a good idea, then all right, fair enough. But I think uh, it is not a very good idea. All far. Stays here. And we're good. Let's start the battle. Argenta gets the first thing, then we are giving it to Heinrich. Heinrich buffs everyone, defense buffs himself, and we're good. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. All right, kill zone right there. Not a servitor. 50 momentum just because we can. And your 1000 hit points dwindle away know. when I debuff you because all of a sudden it's only 800. That's 200 points of damage. You're very welcome. Pull far. If you insist, Lord Captain. He gets pushed. Argenta gets pushed as well. But we are starting 
with all far. Uh, by the way, you could have a back line here because why not? I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Yeah, let's hit him a couple of times. That's oh, already 200 points of damage. Building up more versatility and we are very much at uh, 300 points of damage there. Argenta gets a buff. We're moving up. Emperor, give me strength. And apparently we can't hit him. Oh, we can. Very good. Individual gaze, success. That guy is so debuffed at this point. Good. This combat, uh, mm, uh, this uh, this combat zone is four x the damage now. Um, debuffing him and overcharging our plasma. Hundred and sixty points of damage. Very well done. Good, Heinrichs. Let's see to it. And feebles that thing. For Gives himself some speed. Glory. I need a foothold. Moves up. And he's also hitting for fifty. That's not bad at all. Taunt him. Dodges. Parries. The fame hungry town. Bush, there you go. That should be a learning for you. <laughs> this party is busted. Oh, yeah. Well, we barely have taken any damage. Roar, roar, rip, rip. Okay. I can tell you, you might uh, rest in pepperonis very soon. Good dodge. 700 hit points, I like it. Alright. Saiken. Uh, Pascal. And Ulfwar. Start the battle. Saiken does that. And that, unfortunately, no extra turn. I should have buffed uh, Cassia, uh, Argenta, sorry. But we can still do that by doing this. It's a free buff. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Rear here. If only that were possible. Be 
Careful not to cross then we gate. got uh, front line over here. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. As always, Isn't debuff. The job for the serfs? Down to 600, that's good. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Couple of free uh, buffs for everyone, and... Let's see if we can I immobilize this thing. Not a servitor. Old far, he gets the first turn. Couple of shots. Oh wow, this guy is almost down. And we haven't even started, man. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. If I may. Good. Single target damage. Don't need uh, the littlest attack. Um. Let's increase our damage here times four. Bit more damage, and we're just overloading the plasma. This team is busted. Enemy isn't even standing a chance. Okay. Well, this time it might look a bit different. Okay, finally, we're getting... We're getting somewhere. Incubus Guardian, Witch Guardian, and there is Kekaros. And unfortunately, we don't have the guy here who should deal the final blow onto her. And an Agony Pain Engine. Okay, well, listen. Not much here is changing. Other than slightly adjusting our position. Starting the battle. Saiken gives a free buff to Argenta, then starts with Ulfar. Who just begins to massacre these guys here. Good. Incubus Guardian doesn't look very good. Good, now let's get all of you guys together into one place we want to play, don't we? This machine unfortunately manages uh, to resist. That is very unfortunate. to being ordered around isn't this a job for the service? good um everybody here gets minus insist, uh, hit points Captain. which for Kekoros means uh, she has lost around uh, 150 200 hit points not too bad if you ask me. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Is it our job to ask approaching? Me, 
If you insist, Lord Captain. Okay. Debuffing again. Very good. Argenta gets a buff and gets I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. That extra turn. Everybody needs to move out of here and we're slicing and dicing them down. Good hit. Very good hit. More damage here. Way more damage. Bit more kill zone. Then everybody gets machine spirit communion. And what's rated? Look at that. Mm, AOE. I like it, and this thing here can be scouted a little bit more. Oh wow, that was a good hit. That was a fantastic hit. Well, let's not falter here. A little bit of that. And a bit of that. And a bit of that. And a bit of that. And let's see. I will show them no mercy. Psychinj is completely demolished. There the is no battlefield. Mercy found in my heart. You're being pushed back. I like that. AOE damage. Yeah, that is AOE damage, so improve that. And uh, his single target bolter. <laughs> Killing them. Fantastic. Very good. I don't like that. Wolfar has just completely demolished them. Is up to ten stakes of versatility. I like what I'm seeing. Saigon just heals himself. No need for damage at this point. He gets a full turn afterwards. Um, can't give either of you an extra turn. But I could with Heinrichs. I think that wouldn't be too bad, would it? You gain an extra turn, Heinrichs. Heinrichs... Pawns both of these guys, and I think we're not, we haven't even course, acted yet. Lord Captain. Argenta no gets a buff for her next turn. Naturally. Heinrichs charges in.
And how about... How about we are just striking this thing here? Good hit. And we have an offhand attack. Another good hit. Heinrich uh, also gets another attack. Okay, Argenta, it's your turn. We're going to hit this thing. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Dare you! I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Guided by faith! Doubt is for the weak. Fabulous. That's what I'm talking about. I will not. Um Power resides in the will of the righteous. Let's that is not continue hitting her. Kekoros needs to learn her lesson. Oh, she would take so much more damage if she would just be inside of the zone. But for the mere fact that this seems to be kind of the most difficult uh, fight here. We're actually doing very well. Hit her back for free. This is where Marazan could come in. Unfortunately, can't. Rip them to shreds. With me, merchant vagabonds, make haste. The fog won't last long. Well, well, well. We failed uh, to kill Caracas with uh, Malasar, but the rest of the fights were actually fun. This team is super, super, super busted. The amount of damage and the extra turns that we're pushing out is just beyond reasonable. Embrace true power. At the end of the turn, we're against a stack of tactical advantage equal to the number of enemies they hit during their turn. Well, that's not bad either. Whenever the wearer is target of an attack of opportunity, the attacker becomes blinded. That's not bad either. The world trembles beneath my feet. I feel I'm saying that quite a lot because a lot of these options are actually quite good. I cannot be leashed. Let's seize the opportunity. Ah, uh, Marazai will be pissed. Marazai will be pissed, but I don't care. What is this? 
new playthings, no doubt, in here through the Reaving Tempest was intended to offer you a poetry cabal for our entertainment. The Poison's Whispers uh, should learn to live up to their name. Lest the Cabal of the Wounded Skies lives up and makes them uh, makes you bleed upon the Dark City, you sharp tongue past. Expect something like this, says Heinrichs. At least we're no longer in the arena. There are fewer Xenos here capable of opposing us. Mar uh, Marzai says this is one of the satellites, Tower of the Main, Spire of the Raving Tempest. What luck, Imeris throat is now much closer to my claws. But first I have to deal with my sister's pathetic guests. Did the jester just bring me to listen to these drug-ridden beasts and practicing meager wits? I'll kill them. Uh, Ulfur, I'd like to speak uh, with you before uh, that. Uh, I've had enough talking with Xenos. Uh, their wounds, uh, their words are thick with lies. Once you let them touch your ears, you become a puppet, and they are pulling the strings. So, which one of you is worthy of getting the first taste of pain, and which one will have to settle for the scraps? What is this place? Words, words, poisoned words everywhere. I'm so sick of you punny and humans who do not uh, um, uh, know what of honest battle. Step up in the mire of your own intrigue. You've dragged me into the same mire with you. Is this proud warrior destined to wander the wretched lair uh, forever most slaying Xenos for other Xenos amusement? Oh, I like this one. I want to cut the, uh, the tenures in his every limb and watch him burn in the fires of the powerless frenzy. And who is your old plaything? This knowledge is far beyond you, but I see no harm in uh, humoring the soon-to-be corpse. This is an exquisite delight, a farseer. Nothing can compare to the heightened psychical emotions. Most little Okay. Sorry. A Farseer humorous had the uh, temen uh, temerity uh, to bring a Farseer to Komorak, only to feed it to some of the Dark City's gutters. So which of you is worthy of getting the first taste of my pain and which of you is settling for the scraps? You belong to the Wounded Skies, I will help you to remember the name of the burn uh, and burn it into your eyeballs. The Wounded Skies are always so hasty and so eager to rush ahead, they fail to notice the daggers being shoved into their backs by more worthy aspirants. I see you have not wasted your time in the Dark City and you have properly studied our ways of thinking. Ulfa throws back his head and lets out a terrifying howl filled with a, uh, with a longing for the cold promise of a swift yet painful demise. The sound of it leaves no doubt that one's heart, uh, that bloodshed, is now inevitable. You hear the light footsteps of Xenos coming from the terrace. Stop the reinforcements, bar the entrance. You were but a fleeting flame before my tempest. Fear me, monkey. All right. Well, that's yet another fight, but uh, the episode is getting a bit too long. Uh, however, this is going to be fun. More witches, more uh, witchcraft, poisonous whisperer, and the wounded skies. Bows need to die. There is no doubt in my mind about it. And um, there's also no mu a doubt in my mind about it that uh, this is going to be a fun massacre. Join me the next time when we are continuing our endeavor into uh, the world of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Thanks a lot for now. And if you want to be a true arena champion, wrestle down that like button and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.